so answer me this though, twenty, because this is another thing that's been going through my mind lately is that with the young artists, you know, some of them meeting untimely death, some of them finding themselves locked up. I feel like hip hop is literally reverting back to the OGs to keep it alive mm -hmm. until people such as yourself can help uh, raise the next generation of artists because mm -hmm. that whole generation gap right there is gone. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that right there? Well, when I'm working with the new generation, I try to give, you know, I charge for conference calls. That's right. Like, I'm not just talking. I won't get nothing done. My phone stay ringing. Come on, but man. But if you're young, you young, you know, you, you got some consistency and it's like you're trying, yeah. I'll, I'll give you some advice. Yeah. I'm not trying to sign you. I'll just give you some advice, and that's what keep me close mm -hmm. to, to them. But I feel like we've been doing good. It, it haven't been no bloodshed. Yeah. You know, so I feel like, you know, a lot, Asian A was just at the office yesterday, and she was talking about how she's trying to not sexualize mm. certain things because it's like, is you in a box? Yeah, and that's it's coming. Getting old too. Yeah, it's coming from a female. So yeah. she played me some music, man. She got some heartfelt, okay, some new Asian biases. Day. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I rock with her. She got some yeah. new, new material that's like it's, it's going to touch a lot of females. Okay, then. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a we just need a balance, you know. But these young artists, they see what's going on. Yeah, y'all can't perform like Fabo. <laughs> they can't keep up with they can't Fabo. keep up with Fabo. Facts. Fabo still dancing, he moving like he just uh, twenty one. Uh, like a, he a new. I told him like, bro, you a new artist. Yeah, I've been told him I yeah. helped rebrand Fabo. Exactly. Fabo been hot ever since me and him connected. Yeah, hot, steamy. <laughs> Shout out the crystals. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. So Fabo stay booked. You know, so it'd be like all these hip hop fifty year anniversaries. Mm -hmm. They ain't they ain't booking all these young people. Mm -mm. They booking legends. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Future just turned forty yesterday. Come on, man. Come Drake on. Pushing forty. Come on. Jeezy, Tip, all of them. You know what I'm saying? So you can't be like, oh, he too old. Nah, bro. No, hip hop is a grown man sport now. Nah, it used to be for the young men, yeah. but now it's the grown men. The longevity is for the grown men. Talk mm -hmm. to me, Doc. For sure. We got the Ox House going on too, though. Yeah. Yeah. We discovering new artists and okay. we got an event they were working on called the Ox House. Okay. Um we're building a community, bro. So yeah. like I got Bishop coming in and he'll come check out the artists, they play music, give good mm -hmm. feedback, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And we just building it up, dog. Okay. Like, so it's super dope. And then it's a filter too, because it go back to the top twenty gems, the album. Yeah. So it's like people that come in the office and do their live performances mm -hmm. depending on the the Viralness and yeah, yeah, yeah. the numbers and the comments is like, hey, he need to be, she need to be on the album. Exactly. Or I go to the Ox House and you know it's like, they might need to come to the office and let's do a live performance on them just for like charity purposes. Like, hey, you ain't got to do. Look, just come up here and we gonna see something. You know. How do you feel with your platform representing? what so many clubs and situations used to represent back in the day to where, you know what, we could go to ATL Top 20, we could get us a damn album release party, mm -hmm. a damn digital marketing campaign to go behind it, mm -hmm. an email blast to go behind it, a damn DJ blast to go behind it, but it's all in one, so whereas me and Doc would have been out here with some flyers on the corner trying to pass it out, trying to get somebody to hear our shit. Mm -hmm. We could come to you and get all of that stuff done at one damn time. I mean, I look at it like Walmart. You know, yeah. at first we had Walmart, then you had the Super Walmart. You got yeah. the grocery store, you got, you know, they got clothes, yeah. they got shit for your backyard. Yeah. You know, Walmart sell everything. Come on now. So I just opened it up like it's it's a it's a super Walmart. Okay. But we still need DJs. Yeah. We still need the posters, the flyers. So by me dropping this album, not one time do I look at it like, oh I'm ATL top twenty. I ain't gotta do nothing but make go viral. No, I'm outside. Come on. I'm outside. I'm touching the outside people. Outside tonight. I'm, I'm breaking bread with DJs. Yeah. I'm pulling up on DJs, yeah. building equity. Like, you know, B King here coming town. Man, let me who is who who grateful? Yeah. Oh, DJ Steel. Let's go to LaCore. Yeah, Steel, what let's, up though? Let's go to LaCore. Let's yeah. build equity with him. Let's make him feel like the star that he is. Well, see, you know? that's what I want to ask you about, too, because DJ Steel, for me, reminds me of the last of the great DJs. Mm -hmm. 
What do you think happened to the DJ? Because I know still, mm -hmm. but after still, maybe I'm out of touch. I don't damn know, but it ain't no DJs laying a smack down how you would have seen a young ATL Top 20, a young DJ Spins, a young DJ Pretty Boy Tank, mm -hmm. all them boys getting crazy, you know, back then. So by me having a, you know, good relationships with DJs over the years, a lot of them are great, and then you got a lot of them just, just irresponsible. Uh, you know, they don't have health insurance, life insurance, yeah. and they just be in the way. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Trying to jug, finesse, you know, trying to give artists old information. Uh, so it's like I, I, I call them furniture. Like you have DJs that just, they never going to leave these clubs yeah, because they're irresponsible. They the furniture? Yeah, <laughs> like, oh, that's a couch. That's DJ couch. <laughs> That's DJ Table. <laughs> He's not going to leave that club. He's not leaving. So He's the furniture. It's, so it's no different than going to jail. Like one time I went to jail and um, I told the CEO, I say, look, the difference between me and you, I'm getting out. Yeah. You still got to come to work. So Ooh. am I really the inmate? Yeah. Or is you the inmate? That's My deep. God. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you snapped when you said that. Exactly. So that's how I got grievances. Because you had people in jail talking about, yeah, bro, I'm, I need a grievance form. Yeah. And that's how I learned that word. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, but um, a lot of these DJs, man, they need to just get out the way. Okay. So because no, come I'm, I ain't finished. Yeah, come like, on. Why would Ludacris take you on tour if you late to the airport? Why would Jeezy take you to Hawaii if you – so when you see him and Ace, they've been together for a decade. Come on now. Or better. You see Teflon. He he stayed with Burner. Exactly. Infamous stay with Luda. Come on. Pretty Boy Tank stay with Rich Homie. Facts. T. Lewis stay with Wayne. Facts. You know, so they're responsible. They got passports. They're not wanted by the cops. Yeah. <laughs> they know how to move through this, you know, to be on time. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of these cats, they just sit in the in the DJ booth yeah. as furniture, yeah. smoking weed all night, getting yeah. drunk, don't yeah. want to wake up. Yeah. Like, they not on schedule. But they'll sit up and be like, you got to go through me. Boy, you a dead end. Come on, man. I ain't got to go through you. I'm going to go around you because you playing. Yeah. You're not going to get my music nowhere. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's, that's what's wrong with a lot of stuff that goes on in the city because it's just roadblocks. So when I post things like, I can get your music outside of 285, I can because yeah. I got family in St. Louis, Chicago, yeah. Cincinnati, New York, L.A. Yeah. You know, they come to me to get the music. Exactly. So it's like, bro, I'm not, I'm not, I ain't, I ain't throwing no life jackets to nobody. 